gonna mount one on the van! Maybe two! Go, big guy. I'll meet you on the other side. those annoying spinny things I'll have to wait for sly Nice of you to join us. Sly, are you and Murray all right? Something knocked out communications. Did you take a fall? Sort of. It's a long story. But are you seeing what I'm seeing? Wow. It's amazing, isn't it? It sure is. I can't wait to... Too bad you can't touch it. Wait, what? Sorry, Sly. If you touch anything, you're going to alert the guards. Just stepping on those coins could do it. You need to leave this treasure alone. And don't forget to use Salim's outfit to navigate the trickier jumps. <laughs> Oh, 
Hi, that priceless treasure is Sinbad's legendary goblet. History tells us it was recovered by your ancestor. Henrietta One-Eye Cooper, the famous female pirate. <laughs> <laughs> Point taken. Should be good to go. Great! Time to inflict my fists on that track! out first. 
Time to drop some cannonballs on this problem! This guy looks like Murray that time he won that burrito eating contest. 
That's a bad memory. Ugh, I couldn't ride in the van for months. Although, this is reminding me more of the time when Murray was brainwashed by the Contessa. However, this machine is using some kind of music to adjust his brainwaves and control his behavior. It's fascinating. In a completely obscene bad guy kind of way, of course. Well, I wouldn't mind having one of these to control Murray's appetite. According to my readings, it's too risky to just disconnect him. He might never come out of the trance. I need you to examine the device so I can hack it and shut it off. Use this data key to disable that firewall!
laser loop will work perfectly on that switch. I can use this data key to disable that firewall! That's David. Who are you? Relax, pal. I'm a friend of Salim's. Oh, Salim. Did he give you anything for me? Like all the money he owes me for betting on the camel races? Uh, sorry. You'll have to take that up with him. I most certainly will. Security has definitely been beefed up. Those turrets are too well protected to attack directly. Ordinarily, I'd hack the security system, but that might take some time, and we need to hurry. There's no telling when Decibel might move the lion again. This may be our only chance. So, what are you thinking, Bentley? I think we need to use some smoking mirrors. Uh, minus the mirrors. Meaning... I'll use the RC chopper to drop smoke bombs at strategic points, which should keep the turrets from seeing you. Then, since Salim knows this city like the back of his hand, he can guide you to a secure location. Hopefully he's had his nap today. <sighs> Just make sure you get to a safe spot before the smoke clears, otherwise you're gonna be missile bait.
could drop smoke bombs with the R1 button and boost my speed with the L1 button. Okay, Celine, we're on. Follow me closely, and don't fall behind. Don't worry about me. I'll be right on your tail. The speed boost will get me out of trouble and away from enemy attacks. Give me some cover, pal. Before beauty. No, 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 you mean wisdom before you. Would you two get going? Just waiting on the wise guy, Bentley. Ah! 
bombs away! Sesame. That outfit makes you a better thief, Sly, not a genie. Now, why don't you help me with this door? <laughs> Close, Sesame. Eh, so you got lucky. Whew! The stench in here is making my eyes water. I feel sorry for your friend. That decibel is really cruel. Well, unfortunately, that might be the lion's socks. He always hated doing laundry. Oh, well, maybe she was just protecting her sense of smell. Let me in, Sly. Time to drop the ones okay, and zeros on that thing. And let me work my hacking magic. Crush your fights to this! 
Charmed like a snake and could not break free. That was no nightmare, my friend. Salim, you were in my dream too. You brought me many delicious snacks. What is with you guys and all the food? Salim, who is this insolent pup? Oh, don't worry about him. He is a friend who helped rescue you. In fact, he is my assistant. Assistant? What are you talking about? Why? Play along. It's better if less people know what's going on anyway. Great. It's gonna be a long day. Oh, and don't forget what's left of that device slide. I'm almost done with a little invention of my own. I've disabled the security system in the village, but Miss Decibel has retreated to her private office above the library. We need to get in there so we can plant a bug and find out what's going on. However, my schematics show the building is heavily secured, and it appears only someone with your climbing ability can gain access. I do not understand. How will putting an insect in there tell us anything? At most, it will just annoy her. 
no, not that kind of bug. This is a small device that can transmit sound so we can listen to her conversations. Oh, does it also bite? Look, don't worry about the bug. Right now, I need you to find a way into that study so you can let me in. I'll take over from there. All right, Bentley. I will find a way inside while you play with your bug. Okay, Salim, I need you to plant that bug in Miss Decibel's office, but first we need to get her out of there. I've reprogrammed those transmitters she was using on your friends with some new music. Once you place them around the room and I activate them, she's gonna come running. How do you know this? Because she happens to be a music snob, and I'm about to give her a dose of something she can't stand. Good old rock and roll. I do not care for rocks and rolling either. No, it's... Never mind. Just get those transmitters in place. First bugs, now transmitters. Why do I have to carry all these things? Do I look like a camel? All this climbing is going to turn me into a monkey. Stack these books. This place needs a new librarian. These chains break so easily. Maybe I need to go on a diet. All right, just one more transmitter. Yes, yes, there is always one more thing with you, is there not?
Why did my skin have to be climbing? Why not sleeping? Perfect, Salim. I'll take it from here. There. I hope you are happy. Please, just tell me there are no snakes involved. Once I activate those transmitters with my darts, Miss Decibel will be dancing to a different tune. Okay, the old dart gun is ready for action. Bingo! Right on target! Get back, you pest! Transmitter's in that corner, but it's blocked! I need to find a spot where I can see it. I should have known it was you hideous hoodlums.
Known it was now. What was that? Oh, bother. I'm probably just being paranoid. If someone is there, you come out this instant. Wretched Cooper Gang is spraying my nerves. I can hear something scurrying around. I do wish Cyril would hurry back. Be careful! Decibel is right there! <laughs> to that quarter shelf to have a clear shot at that transmitter. Bingo! Right on target. All right. Now I just have to activate those transmitters and get this party started. Okay, 
Celine, shake a leg. Plant that bug. Illusion. Intolerable trash. Nauseating refuse. I should have known it was you hideous hoodlums. Thanks to our bug in Miss Decibel's office, we now have all the information we need. It appears she has been producing counterfeit documents for La Paradox, creating a false family history that will make him an esteemed member of royalty in the present day. I've managed to inspect some of the documentation, and believe me, if we allow him to get away with this, his wealth and power will make him untouchable. I believe he is planning this to be his last and greatest caper. The key to stopping him begins with us getting through that security door of the lamp shop. I haven't been able to discover what's behind it, but we know that's where Decibel will deliver the papers to La Paradise. 
However, since we don't want to announce our presence, we need a diversion for the guards. So I've taken the liberty of fashioning an outfit for Carmelita, who will use it to lure the guards away from their posts by, uh, performing a belly dance. What? Possibly your best plan ever, Bentley. I'm sorry I didn't ask, Carmelita, but you're the only one who can pull this off. Uh, Bentley, I, I can do it. I am not getting into that outfit. I realize it's a bit revealing, but think of it as going undercover. Bentley? I'm positive the Murray could squeeze into that thing. Hey, Carmelita, you should model that outfit for us to make sure it fits. Shut up, Ringtail. I'm only doing this for the team. Listen, silk is very elastic. All right, let's move out. We don't have any time to waste. Okay, Carmelita, we need you to distract those guards and get them away from that door. Yeah, bust a move, Carmelita. How about I bust your face, Cooper? We're counting on you, Carmelita. Meet us inside once you can lose the guards. Bentley, you owe me big time for this one. Hey, you big apes! Ooh. Ooh. Yoo hoo! Over here, you dumb knuckle draggers! This interval will never know about this. Get Bentley back for this.
fly. I am thinking I should go no further. I have passed my greatest wisdom onto you. The last of my friends are now retired. And I have had enough snakes and scorpions and climbing for three lifetimes. Besides, I was thinking someone should watch over Carmelita to make sure she is safe. All right, Salim. We couldn't have made it this far without you, but I think we can handle it from here. You've definitely earned your retirement. Go enjoy it. And the belly dancing. Thank you. I will. expecting an underground docking station for La Paradox's blimp. No wonder we haven't seen that thing floating around. So, what's our next move, Batman? Well, first we need something to distract those guards, so I can get to that control room. I whipped up a surprise for Miss Decibel with the leftover material from Carmelita's outfit, but I think it might work better here. Finally! Just point me in the direction of the changing room and... What the? Perfect. I can use the security cameras to guide the RC car. Go, Bill, go! Use the security cameras to guide the RC car. Down. Stay on target. 
target. Damn, that's goodbye power supply. All right, the coast is clear to the control room. I'll have to hack the controls to open that gate. Time to show this security system who's boss. Overriding security, power grid rerouting, accessing laser network, PC load letters shut down in three, two, one, yes. Uh, Bentley, what just happened? I'm not sure. I have found the tricks of kind of fail safe backup. Hold on a sec. Murray, we can't wait on Bentley. We won't get past those security cannons, and those rat troopers look serious. Murray, remember to use the circle button to stomp and pick up things. Use the square button to toss those rats, pal. All right! Time to kick some rodent butt! Keep it up. Nice arm, Murray. Eat that, cannon thingy. The Murray is a machine. Ah, the three musketeers. One step behind, as usual, may you never change. And may you always stay downwind. Ah, Cooper, you're so pathetic. You don't even realize you've already lost. We haven't lost yet, La Paradox. Oh, no. Bonjour, my large friend. What took you so long? Oh, drat! Celine! Hello, Cyril. I found this filthy old scoundrel unconscious outside. Actually, he's yesterday's trash. Precisely why I threw him away. But I don't understand. I thought you were after him. You're right. You don't understand. I don't care about that old bag of bones. Just his cane. 
which as you can see, I already have. Uh-oh. Double drat. Well, good. Then our deal is complete. I'm coming aboard. Hold that blimp. So sorry, Sherry. But with Monsieur Cooper here, I am afraid the schedule has changed. And I must make my exit now. I cannot risk that flea-bitten rat ruining my plans. Celine. I tried to stop him. He'll be fine, Sly. Right now, you've got to stop that pachyderm. I'm on, like stink on a skunk. Hello, Cooper. How do you like my new toy? This is your fault, Cooper. Straight your demise! I know, containers look fragile. You'll need to find a way to get across before they break. This is definitely the best concert I've ever been to. Look out! <laughs> this is your funeral march! <laughs> <laughs> Dancing to this! She's quite a musician, isn't she? Oh, better decors are to be like stay away from them! The melody is so catchy! <laughs> You'll never make it, Cooper! 
sacre bleu de suspense is killing me. This is your funeral march! You come face me, and I can deliver it personally. I can hardly wait to get my hands on your cane, too, Koopa. Stop that 
Swine once and for all. Think so. You see, we have already reached maximum weight capacity. Uh, perhaps due to my beautiful new guest, Carmelita. <laughs> Get your paws off me, you noxious windbag! But we had a deal. I made you the documents, and you promised me the lost masterpieces. Mozart, Beethoven, romantic nights on the Riviera. Yes. Uh, well, thank you so much for my papers, but it wouldn't have worked out between us. I'm just not into big noses, and as for your music, hmm, how can I put this? It stinks worse than I do! <laughs> Who are you filthy, backstabbing, two-timing scoundrel? <laughs> Flattery will get you nowhere. And as for you, Cooper, don't even think about trying it. Otherwise, we're going to find out if your girlfriend can fly. I don't see any wings, do you? Touch me again and I'll break both your arms! Sly! Don't worry, Carmelita. This isn't over. Isn't it? In fact, I believe there is a perfect saying for this situation. The fat lady... She has sung. <laughs> Au revoir, Snake Cooper. Ah oh well, c'est la vie. We may have stopped Miss Decibel, but it meant absolutely nothing. We were on the ropes. The Paradox had beaten us every step of the way, and he held all the cards. Carmelita, my ancestors' canes, 
and now his fake pedigree. I couldn't remember a time since we teamed up that we felt so defeated. And talking to Dimitri didn't help. He was freaked out and yelling about having to boogie down in skunk town. So as usual, his words made little sense. But the message was clear. We had to get back home fast. We may have been down, but we definitely weren't out. There was too much riding on this. The lives of everyone we cared about, not to mention the very future of our existence. No matter how, we would make things right. So as we roared back through time to Paris, I knew we were in for the fight of our lives. We'd finally made it home to Paris, only to find a place we hardly recognized. It was obvious Le Paradox was now in control, since his face covered the city like a bad rash. The only positive was that Bentley was able to dig up a lot of dirt, including the fact that Le Paradox was from a family of thieves himself. And then we made a major discovery. I knew that my dad's heist of the world's largest diamond had made him a legendary thief. But what I never knew was that Le Paradox's father had planned to steal it first and frame my dad for the crime. Only he was a little too slow and got himself caught instead. With his father gone, Le Paradox had no one to teach him the family business. And after a string of failed jobs, he wound up in prison too. It was here, ironically, that he finally got his criminal education. After his release, Le Paradox maintained the appearance of a law-abiding citizen. In reality, he used his prison contacts to form his own syndicate and began masterminding heists worldwide. These days, he traveled the globe as a billionaire art collector, while his real business was the trafficking of priceless stolen treasures. Clearly, he blamed the Coopers for his family's past misfortunes, and his plan was to wipe us out completely. I had to find a way to stop it, but first, I had to rescue Carmelita. All right, we all know this is our last shot at stopping La Paradox and rescuing Carmelita. Currently, his blimp is docked outside the museum. I can't pinpoint Carmelita's exact position, but I believe she's being held somewhere near the loading bay. Sly, there appears to be a utility hatch on the blimp's underside that will get you inside. You can use one of the mooring lines to reach it. Once you're in, try to gather as much information as you can. But remember, we'll be right behind you, so don't do anything rash. Murray, I need you to get the van ready. We're gonna need backup for this one. So first, you and I are going on a little recruiting trip. Then we'll rendezvous with Sly inside the blimp and figure out our next move. Okay, I realize it's not the most elaborate plan, but it's the best we've got. So everybody watch your backs and let's go take that skunk down once and for all. Okay, Bentley, I'm in. I can see Carmelita. Just hold on, Sly. We're almost there. You know it's a setup. I know, pal, but I don't have a choice. Just get here as fast as you can. Huh? Carmelita! Sly! No! Ah! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Two rats in one trap! I knew you could not resist, Cooper. You are so predictable. Oh yeah? Well, how's this for a prediction? I'm gonna kick that stripe right off your tail. Yes, yes, and now come the big friends from the little man. 
As I said, predictable. Let us out! You afraid of a fair fight, coward? No, 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 I don't think so. I have something special planned for you, too. It is, how do you say, a going away party. Okay, listen up. You all know why you're here. We have to find your canes and get you back where you belong now. If we don't, we'll never be able to repair the damage Le Paradox has done. What about Sly? He's on his own for now, Murray, but I'm sure he'll be fine. It's Sly. Ryuichi, you're up first. My readings show your cane is somewhere in this room. I can sense it too, bentley son. Engineers, report to the bridge. It is time to calibrate the machine. All crew report to stations. Prepare for departure. field shift centered on you yes i sense it is my time to go it has been an honor meeting all of you sayonara it's working the temporal abnormality is correcting itself bob we need you to get salim's cave
Your determination is impressive, but ultimately pointless, Cooper. What can we do, Bentley? We can help the ancestors get their canes, Murray, as fast as we can! Don't slow down, Bob! <laughs> Your determination is impressive, but ultimately pointless, Cooper. What can we do, Bentley? We can help the ancestors get their canes, Murray, as fast as we can! Don't slow down, Bob! Uh-oh! <laughs> What can we do, Bentley? We can help the ancestors get their canes, Murray, as fast as we can! Don't slow down, Bob! Your determination is impressive, but ultimately pointless, Coopers. What can we do, Bentley? We can help the ancestors get their canes, Murray, as fast as we can! Don't slow down, Bob! Your determination is impressive, but ultimately pointless, Coopers. What can we do, Bentley? We can help the ancestors get their caves, Murray, as fast as we can! Your determination is impressive, but ultimately pointless, Coopers. Coopers. What can we do, Bentley? We can help the ancestors get their greatest blip of the Cooper gang. All systems stable. Increasing power output. Power output at 150%. Core temperature stable. Dimensional capacitor calibrated. Bob, looks like you're heading home now. Watch out for those penguins. This is going well, but we're not out of the woods yet. I would entrust this to no other! Oh, again with the climbing? Get going, Salim! We've got some planning to do! Engineering! Give me more power! I need to move up this shit! Get going, Salim! We've got some planning to do! Engineering! Give me more power! I need to move up this shit! Get going, Salim. We've got some planning to do. Engineering, get me more power. I need to move up this schedule. Get going, Salim. We've got some planning to do. Engineering, get me more power. I need to move up this schedule. Get going, Salim. We've got some planning to do. Engineering, get me more power. I need to move up this schedule. What are you up to, Paradox? Get going, Salim. We've got some planning to do. Engineering, get me more power. I need to move up this schedule. What are you up to, the Paradox? Salim, no time for napping. We need to step it up. Oh, if only I had a make... Get going, Salim. We've got some planning to do. Engineering, get me more power. I need to move up this schedule. What are you up to, the Paradox? Salim, no time for napping. We need to step it up. Warning, dimensional collapse. Do 
I salute your excellence, Sir Salim. All right, now that we got Mr. Cranky Pants home safely, we need to press on. Gallop, we need your skills to get Tennessee's cane. Verily shall it be in thine command, hence and forthwith. Uh, you talk funnier than a two-headed jackalope, but thanks, amigo. Yes! Do hurry, Cooper! You don't want to miss this final act! <sighs> Yo, break those fuses to disable that laser grip! <laughs> These simple obstacles are but minor irritations. favors the bold, so boldly shall I attack! More unto the breach go I. Fare thee well, you all! More vermin dead ahead! Attention. 
Prepare your sins for failure, Coopers. You should prepare yourself for traitors. Attention. Initiating fail-safe backup in three, two, backup failed. I am thinking to be together forever. Just think of it as the most romantic coffin ever. <laughs> Don't count on it, Le Paradox. We've beaten all your other plans. Ah, but not this time, I think. Look at this, my marvelous contraption, the time tunnel. Something else I had your little friend Penelope develop before her unfortunate failure is very much like the time machine, no? With one important difference. From here, I have the control over where you go. And it's programmed to send you and your Interpol shrew on an endless honeymoon, free of charge. Bouncing through time for all eternity. That's if you survive the trip. But either way, I will never have to see your irritating faces again. You think this thing can hold me? Just wait until I get out of here. Why'd you do it, Le Paradox? Why the ancestors? Why not just come after me? What's the deal? The deal? The deal is you, Coopers. You destroyed my father, and you almost got me. But not quite. And when I rebuilt myself, I swore I would erase the Cooper name from history completely. And so today, my revenge will be complete. It is time now for you to go. Bon voyage! Sly! Cooper, you filthy vermin! Woo wait! Cut that closer than a $10 shave! Making my time here is up. Take care, Tennessee! I will crush you! No! Take Carmelita and get off this thing! 
We all need to leave right now! That maniac just tore a hole in time space! I need to finish this fight here and now, for the whole Cooper clan. And I'm the only one who can glide out of here. This whole blimp could disappear any second! Right, so there's no time to argue. Just go! Sly, I... I know. Me too. Come, Cooper! I will teach you to fight like a gentleman! And how would you know? <laughs> ha! I'm going to save that Cooper tongue for last. After I cut the rest of you to pieces! It's too bad you can work for me. Ah, it wouldn't have worked out. I'm allergic to morons. You can't work it out. Hit it first. You know what? When I'm done with you, I'm going to crush the rest of your little gang. The only thing that's going to get crushed is your ego. It's too bad you didn't work for me. It wouldn't have worked out. I'm allergic to morons. What? You cheated! What the? A lucky break, Cooper. You'll be lucky if I only break your neck. Come on. I'm waiting for you. You can't wait, Cooper. Deep down, you know ah, I'm superior. Ah. Wait, did you say posterior? Why don't you just give up? And I'll make it painless for you. Why don't you come over here and take it? Something wrong with this stupid sword! this, let me get one thing straight. You came after the Coopers because of what happened to your father? No, you imbecile! I came after the Coopers to prove that Le Paradox is the greatest thief who has ever lived. Is there any doubt? Ask yourself this. If the Coopers were truly the greatest thieves in history, and I have stolen their most valued possessions, then what does that make me? Um, an idiot? You had it made. You could have been the biggest thief of all time, but you had to target my ancestors and blow your own cover. You exposed your operation because of your ego. No Cooper would have done that. And for the record, can you really say you stole the canes? Seems like your friends did all the real work. Enjoy your words, Cooper, because they will be your last. Ready to 
meet your doom? It's time to end this. I agree. But I'm not the one who's going down. <laughs> <laughs> Now, now, think of your blood pressure. I tire of this charade. There's just no point. Sure there is. It's right there on top of your head. I tire of this. There's just no sure there is. It's right there on top of your head. <laughs> Ready to meet your doom? It's time to end this! I agree. But I'm not the one who's going down. You blasted imbecile! And you run your hurl! Now, now! Think of your blood pressure, Cyril! This is not right! My plan was perfect! Sorry, pal. You just can't plan for a Cooper. Just please help me! Why should I? I do not wish to die! I guess you won't be doing any harm from a prison cell. You won't get away with this. I'll find you. Au contraire, Sly Cooper. I do not think we will meet again. It's been a while since that night, but there's still no sign of Sly. Or that cursed blimp. The skunk could barely tread water. So by the time they picked him up, he was happy to see them. Word is he earned a special cell in solitary confinement, where the only thing he'll be collecting from now on is gray hair. Both Paris and the Phoebus Raccoonus were back to normal, but that hardly made us feel any better. At first, we just waited, assuming Sly would show up the way he always did. But as the days stretched into weeks, we had to face the fact that he was truly lost. We've stopped talking about it all the time, but I know it's all we're thinking about, even if we show it in different ways. Murray seems like his usual cheerful self, but I can tell there's a new level of seriousness underneath it all. He's on the professional wrestling circuit now, and he's really been pushing himself. I know he's doing it to keep his fighting skills sharp. Like all of us, he wants to be ready for action the minute we locate Sly. Carmelita returned to Interpol, where she threw herself into her work, busting criminals at a record pace. She's been so busy, I haven't seen her for a while now. My sources tell me she's conducting her own investigation into Sly's whereabouts. Out of everyone, I think she took his disappearance the hardest. Even if she never shows it. At least not in public. As for myself, I continue to search. Even using all my technology, I haven't found a clue. The time machine is no help since we need to know where Sly was for that to work. I get discouraged sometimes, but I'll never give up. Because I know Sly's out there, and I know that wherever he is, we will find him. Real 
Kalichi Cooper continued to refine his master ninja techniques as well as his sushi. And while his thefts were never detected, his sushi restaurant was recognized as the finest in Japan. El Jefe remains behind bars. He was transferred to a South American prison, where he now works rolling cigars. Unfortunately for him, there's no smoking allowed. <laughs> Tennessee Kid Cooper recovered his gold and his place in history as the greatest outlaw of the Old West. His legend grew even bigger when he began stealing from crooked lawmen exclusively. Toothpick was arrested and became part of a chain gang working on the railroads. He eventually went deaf and faded into obscurity. <laughs> Caveman Cooper kept up his physical training and returned to his role as egg thief extraordinaire. Perhaps most importantly, he pioneered the use of his cane as a tool for thieving. The Grizz received a lengthy prison sentence and began a new career as a rap artist. In his spare time, he paints portraits of his fellow inmates. Sir Galleth Cooper returned to his heroic adventures and went on to form the Knights of the Cooper Order, a gallant group that stole from corrupt nobility. He also became a successful, if overly dramatic, actor. Penelope was sent to Europe's highest security prison, where she promptly escaped. She remains at large, and the police have no clue as to her whereabouts. Recently, however, I've been receiving mysterious postcards. Salim al Kupar finally retired from thieving and took a long nap. Then he dreamed up a lucrative new business. Parking his camel around town, he sold snacks to hungry customers. It was highly successful. <laughs> After being locked up, Miss Decibel decided to make some changes. She had the horn removed from her trunk, enrolled in anger management classes, and began teaching music to other prisoners. With continued good behavior, she might get an early parole. Dimitri returned to his globetrotting ways as a celebrity scuba diver and even launched a new line of fashion wear. He's so successful, there's a new reality TV show chronicling his adventures. It's called Disco Diver. La Paradox had all his assets seized, including his art collection and everything was donated to the city of Paris. I'm told his cell was modified to be completely odor-proof. I suppose that's good for the guards, 
since he's going to be living there for a very long time.